In this video, I'm going to show how to use OBS. Uh, it's an open source uh, screen recorder for how to record your level. And this is the way we start. So here's my level, as you can see, right in here. I have not hit the play button yet. And then uh, I have my OBS um, over here. And uh, I think what I'd like to do is I'm going to have to kind of uh, show you both windows maybe at the same time or something. Let's. Um, We'll go ahead and set it up. So the way you set it up is once you have OBS uh, installed on your computer, you have to choose the source for, that you would like to record. And so I'm going to hit the plus sign, and uh, I have all these options for choosing a source. So what I'm going to do is just simply window capture. So I'm going to click on window capture. It's going to create a new one. I could give it a new name if I wanted to, and I'll just call this my uh, OBS uh, uh, capture uh, demo. How about that? And then I'll just say OK and uh, make the source visible. So I say OK and uh, right now it's asking for what is my the window. I haven't chosen the window yet. It's showing me which window by default and uh, so what I'm going to do is click here and it shows me the windows that I have open here and I'm going to choose my Unreal Editor window so I'll open that. Now it shows me and uh, normally you would have a black screen here, or you may even see your screen, but um, I'm getting that kind of weird mirror effect. So um, all I'm going to do then, this looks okay, so I'm going to say okay. And then I have to move my OBS off screen, but what I'm going to do is I will hit the start recording button. And then when I'm finished, this will say, this will say stop recording. And then when I'm finished, I'll hit stop recording. So let me move this off screen. And now it's actually showing me, you can't see it, but it's actually showing me this window. So what I'd like to do is I'm going to hit play. I'm going to full screen it by pressing the F11 key. And we'll have to click in it first and then press F11. That full screens my window. Now notice that my cursor, I can't, uh, my cursor is kind of showing me that I'm inside here. I'd like to get out of here. So I have to press the Windows key on my keyboard. That allows me to have control back of my cursor. So I'm going to go over here, hit start recording on the, you can see it, start recording, click. And so it's recording now. And uh, now I'm just going to run through here. So I'll, and you can see I'm running in real time. I'm just going to run over here, come back, whoops, and we'll just finish where we started right here. And then to stop, I'm going to have to click on stop recording. So I'm going to hit the Windows button again. And then you can see this software. So then I'll hit stop recording, click. And then um, it stops recording. So let me move this uh, back into view. And then also, now that I'm done in here in this window, I can go ahead and um, shrink the screen back by pressing F11. I will stop it by pressing Escape. So now I'm out of this window. Let me bring this window back. And you can see where I hit stop recording. It did capture my video, and so I'm done capturing. Let's go take a look now and see where that video actually uh, turned out. So if I go into my, um, if I go into here, <coughs> then normally it goes to videos right here. You can see in my uh, Windows Explorer videos, and then I have the uh, the videos. Let's see which one it looks like. Uh, normally it's a VLC. Oh, it's right here in front of me. The VLC, it puts a time date stamp on it right here. You can change the name of it. And uh, I have the VLC player on my computer. So now I'm just going to double click it. Click. And then so you can see here's now. my video. It's and, uh, got the time date stamp on it. Through here, and uh, so you can see it's just showing what I've already done. I'm just so let me uh, here, stop that. Close that. And that's how you do it. So thank you very much for watching.